Do you see him? <coughs> That's Dr. Mike, a fitness YouTuber and researcher with almost 4 million subscribers and over 1.5 billion views. This is insane. This is insane. A month ago, he posted a 30 minute video about the end of steroids. If you are considering using steroids, don't use them. You won't need them soon. Why the end? Because a new muscle building drug just dropped. These drugs are a category above steroids entirely. It builds muscle and at the same time burns fat. This is wild, 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 wild result. Or is it all just nonsense? <coughs> so buckle up tightly, let's dive in, starting with this kid. This kid lives in Vietnam, he's 10 years old and he doesn't look 10. His back looks like a mountain range on Google Maps. His arms are the size of his neighbor's head and his calves are so big they have their own postcode. <coughs> but how? <coughs> how he literally looks like Arnold Schwarzenegger at an age where you can't cross the street alone. So, do you see him? Yeah! Flex on him, flex, flex. That's Amir, another kid with the same physical shape. Look at that back. <laughs> Oh, yeah. yeah, a kid who, as someone wrote in the comments, doesn't get spanked by his parents, rather, he spanks them. Yeah! But again, how? According to the parents of both of these kids, they share a similar mutation in the MSTN gene. What does it mean? There's a limit on how muscular we can get. Or more specifically, you can get. I don't have limits. One of the things that sets that limit is a protein called myostatin. It works as a negative regulator of muscle growth, meaning it puts the brakes on how much muscle we can build. One of the researchers who discovered this was Dr. Lee, who published this famous study on genetically engineered mice in 2007. The function of myostatin became apparent when we generated mice that lacked the gene altogether. And uh, it turned out that in these mice, all the skeletal muscles in the body grew to be about twice the normal size. There are also documented cases of similar genetic engineering in pigs from researchers in South Korea and China. But what does it have to do with Dr. Mike? We're getting there. Remember her? This woman appeared in a video that I did a couple of months ago. Ozempic helped me lose 160 pounds. She started using a weight loss drug called Ozempic and then transformed her body completely. If this is Ozempic face, give me Ozempic face all day long. That's because semaglutide, the active compound in Ozempic, helps the body secrete more insulin, lowers blood sugar, slows down gastric emptying, and reduces appetite. But what if we did both? Used semaglutide to drop fat and at the same time blocked myostatin, the protein that limits muscle growth, and blocked another muscle inhibiting protein called active in A. What happens if we do what researchers call inhibit the inhibitors? Is that the new steroid? These drugs are a category above steroids entirely. So that brings us to this guy, <coughs> Dr. Mike. A month ago, a viewer asked me to review a video posted by Dr. Mike, fitness YouTuber with almost 4 million subscribers. This is insane. This is insane. Now, as someone who openly admits to using steroids, he titled this video The End of Steroids. If you are considering using steroids, don't use them. You won't need them soon. Why the end? Because there is a new muscle building drug featured in a new study. I want to tell you all about this drug until I'm just salivating about it. Keep your saliva in your mouth. He made a 30 minute video about a new study on They have published research about it. Monkeys. <coughs> but what's so crazy about it? Here he shows this graph. We have a graph for you right here. And to be honest, it's wild. This is wild, 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 wild result. There were four groups of monkeys and the group that received all three treatments, semaglutide and the two inhibitors of muscle limiting proteins. And now you understand what I'm talking about. Not only lost a significant amount of fat, they also gained a significant amount of lean mass. 450 or so grams of muscle during the course of this diet. Lean mass, not muscle mass. Muscle. But yeah, and you know what the best part is? There are zero androgenic side effects. Zero androgenic side effects. Except everything he says was total nonsense. When you know exactly how to read, find and understand scientific studies, like I explained to you here, you know exactly when something is true and when someone is messing with your noodle. Let's start at the end. That exciting graph he showed you from the study? We have a graph for you right here. This is wild, 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 wild result. Is 
not from the study. It's from an investor presentation by the company Regeneron. A name he happens to mention every 90 seconds in the video. Regeneron. 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 You want to burn fat? You want to build muscle? Regeneron Pharmaceuticals has the sword of Athena to the cloud. Which makes you wonder if it's really muscle that he's salivating over or stock returns. I'm just salivating about it. And it's sad that as a doctor he falls into this trap and even writes in the video description linked to the study. But the actual link says investor dot Regeneron. But let's not be monkey see monkey do. Ah! Here's the actual paper. And just so someone says it out loud, on page 8 in the conflict of interest section, you can see that every single author of the study is financially invested in the company's stock. Now, that doesn't make the paper automatically invalid, but it does make you read it with one eyebrow raised. Which brings us to the next point. Monkeys die. When you're not making a 30 minute video based on a single PowerPoint slide, Regeneron, 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 you can find some slightly less fun facts, like death. The study involved about 40 monkeys and four of them died. And although one of them died after receiving placebo, the other three got the real treatment. Zero androgenic side effects. Yeah about that. First of all, they didn't check specifically for androgenic side effects. If you actually dig into the phase 1 trial of the same drugs and open the supplementary materials on page 6, you'll find reported effects on the reproductive systems of monkeys and rats. And this is a different study using the same species of monkeys and the same treatment. Except for the GLP-1, which we don't know how it would have affected the results. And the side effects were reversible after about a year of recovery. So that's worth mentioning other than the investor PowerPoint presentation graph and the other shiny stuff. This is wild. You know, as a side note. So not only did 2 million people get fed a hyped up 30 minute video titled The End of Steroids. You won't need them soon. Based entirely on a single investor slide about monkeys. I love monkeys, monkeys, y'all family to me. There were more things that Mike didn't even mention and we're not done yet. Dr. Mike, while talking about a monkey study, <laughs> didn't seem to realize that we already have data on humans. And it came out actually a day before he released his video. So, you know, he could have used the info or give an update in another one because he took monkey data and applied it to humans. Let's take the primate results and map them onto a human result. Even though, as he himself mentions, there is already preliminary data on humans. They are in stage two clinical trials for this drug with humans now. But he never bothered to look or present it. So I will. Are you ready? Two people died. The company shared preliminary results from a human trial using the same combination treatment exactly as in the monkey study. So if you're a monkey watching this, the next part isn't for you. In the group that got the full treatment, the triplet group, that got the GLP-1-RA and the dual blockade of both GDF-8 and Activin-A, aka exactly the same group that got featured here in Mike's graph. Pause the video and look at the graph for a while. That lost fat and built muscle. The group of the new steroids. This is wild. Wild, wild wild, wild result. Yes, two people died. Now the company claims there isn't a causative link to the treatment. Okay, but even putting that aside, almost one third of participants in that group, about 50 people, dropped out of the study due to side effects they couldn't tolerate. And for dessert, remember that line? 450 or so grams of muscle during the course of this diet. Which is the whole point of his video, the end of steroids, cause there's a new magical compound that made monkeys build muscle and burn fat. You wanna burn fat? You wanna build muscle? So. That didn't happen in humans. Yes, they lost fat, but they also lost lean mass. Two pounds on average. So all that hype about the new steroid. If you are considering using steroid, don't use them. You won't need them soon. As of now, collapsed before the human data even came out. Now, do I think there will be a new generation of steroids in the future, possibly with fewer side effects? With zero androgenic side effects. And in combination with semaglutide, we might be able to reduce fat while maintaining or even building muscle. Yes, but are we close? To that. If in this lifetime sounds close to you, then yes. Theoretically, even if this trial had gone perfectly and everyone who died came back to life with double the muscle, it would still be a long road before you'd be lining up at CVS with a prescription. But what's sad is that a doctor with millions of followers is hyping up a bleak future of just take performance enhancing drugs to get your dream body. It's 
sucks to go to the gym and just claw for these minimal gains. This drug and drugs like it could end that forever. Now you get gain. Of course, based on one investor slide. 450 or so grams of muscle during the course of this diet. And ignoring other data on rats, monkeys, and humans. And that the human results weren't even close to what happened in monkeys. Or in other words, sadly, his entire video can be summed up like this. <laughs> but what can I say? Let's give him his banana. By subscribing to my channel, you can get results without being hyped or hooked to a certain prescription and get them in a healthy and reliable manner. Share this video with all of your friends. It can help a lot of people and I'll see you in the next one. Like it sucks to go to the gym and just claw for these minimal gains. This drug and drugs like it could end that forever. Now you get gain. <laughs>